Hello everybody, this is Clive, and we're going to do some more Isaac runs today. I'm going to play as Samson this time. He's the only one I haven't beaten Satan with, it looks like. Yep. I uh, beat Isaac and the boss rush with him, but not a Satan kill yet, so let's get that out of the way. I'm going to try something different today. I'm going to kind of adjust what I talk about during my videos a little bit. Um, this is going to be my game chat video for the day, where we're gonna, I'm just going to, like, discuss um, some video game news, any video game news that just comes to mind. I'm going to try to limit to this chat instead of uh, my other two that I plan on doing today. So I picked up Sister Maggie first there. She's a okay, I guess, sidekick, uh, friend, whatever you want to call him. I don't know. I don't know what you would call him. They float around beside you and shoot. I don't know if there's any difference between her and Brother Bobby, actually. They seem to do exactly the same thing. Alright, so... Video game news. What do we got? I saw today that... the that Edmund, the creator of Binding of Isaac, has said that the expansion is going to nearly double the content. Um, and what he means by that is that it, what he said is that he's going to introduce a new game mode that will double the amount of stuff to do in the game. And I'm like racking my brain trying to think of what the new game mode could be. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't even know. I can't think of anything. I'm not a game creator here. So, like... What could they do with Isaac to make it to to make an entirely new game mode? Um, what about like an ultra hard mode where everything is like doing double damage? What about well, I don't know. It's like they've already got ultra hard mode if you play as the Lost. <laughs> I mean, that's like one hit kill you're dead no matter what. Um, Blue Baby is almost ultra hard mode. That means you can't get red hearts. So, what some what are some other game modes? What do you guys think? Like, what could they introduce here to double the content of the game? He also said that he's going to introduce a bunch of new items, uh, which I think it's pretty much expected. Um, he says that I think ten or fifteen are going to come from come straight from the. Um, Isaac players as suggestions on the subreddit and that's pretty cool um, I don't hang out on the subreddit too often I do check it like once every day or two but um, I don't read a whole lot on it I'm just gonna beat Monstro here I'm gonna try not to take any damage that's my strategy on this run is just take no damage which is actually probably not the best strategy when you have Samson and he gets bonuses for you taking damage. Um, if we get the IV bag, that's going to be fun. Uh, that was like a shot right to the face. Not sure why I did a whole heart of damage instead of half heart. That's kind of interesting. Just concentrating here for a second. I'm going to beat Monstro. Alright, so we get a half heart back. We got matchbook that gives me a black heart and some bombs. Um, let's see, what was there anything back here? We got I don't think there's second secret rooms on the first floor. But we'll put that there since we're gonna get a bomb back anyways. Might as well. I'm not sure I, I don't think I saw any tinted rocks. We can go ahead and do this though. I'm gonna put it right here, that way just in case there's a secret room. There is a secret room. Okay. Got some pills. Let's take them. Puberty doesn't do anything, just makes hairs pop out of your head and pheromones. Didn't do anything in that circumstance. Sometimes it will. I should have been looking for tinted rocks so I didn't have to go back through this stuff again. But yeah, there's no tinted rocks on this floor. Well, at least we got bombs for the next floor then. No tinted rocks. And no tinted rocks. Okay. Alright. Arcade is nice. That means we got Blood Bank. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go down to half a red heart. 
and then just plan on not taking any more damage. I think that I heard that the maximum you could build up your rage is six hits. That was five hits there, so one more hit will take me to the maximum. Um, if what I heard is correct. Our damage is going to be good on this floor now. No tinted rocks there, I don't believe. Alright, let's take out these little hand bones. So anyways, uh, Binding of Isaac getting an expansion, hopefully in 2015. Hopefully soon in 2015. I know Rebirth just came out, but, you know, um, I'm ready for an expansion already. I guess I should try to get Platinum God before the expansion comes out. That would probably be the best thing to do. But I, don't, I honestly don't know if that's going to happen, because, like, <laughs> playing as the Lost is a hard task. We'll go ahead and blow up this Tinted Rock, get us a little bit of, yeah, two Soul Hearts, that's nice. Can't argue with that. Um, Samson's probably my favorite character to play as. I just, I love the rage. And he's, <laughs> I think it makes him pretty easy. He's almost, I would almost say he's easier than Azazel. Almost. Of course, I can't say that and then lose. I should say that he's easier than Azazel if you get a blood bank or an IV bag. There we go. We can go use the blood bank one more time. Well, twice actually, but... Uh, one more time will take me to the six hit limit. Gonna check our secret room before the boss fight. I mean, not a secret room, the item room before the boss fight. So currently I'm streaming live on, on Twitch. I'm planning on doing this daily at one o'clock. Uh, about one to three. Uh, I'll stop playing between three and four, depending on how long my runs take. Yesterday I had some long runs. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, I think the video was like an hour and five minutes long. That was That's a long run for Isaac. Um, we'll check our uh, shop here. BFF? I'll take BFF. We got one friend right now. He's going to get a little bigger. Um, tempted to take other stuff, but we'll, we'll come back to that, maybe. This, is, uh, this run's starting off very good. I uh, don't even think I need to take another hit out of the arcade. Let's just let's just go fight the boss. Larry Jr. This is a no-brainer boss. I split him in half there. That's not the best way to to fight this guy, but you know, Larry Jr.'s probably one of the, like second easiest boss in the game. Maybe even easier than the Hollow. It's close. I think the Hollow is slightly easier. Alright, we got a shot speeded up, and we got two of clubs, okay. That'll give me five bombs at this point. The Razor Blade kind of synergizes well with Samson. Allows me to do damage to myself. But then again, it lowers my max HP by one, which doesn't synergize well with Samson. Um, you know, let's take it. I don't think I've had it on the channel, so it could be fun, and... It also gives me deal with the devil precedent, which I want. And it also unlocks it for my um, item list, which I also want. I'm thinking that the secret room is going to be right above where I'm at right now. So let's try a bomb there. I should have used two of clubs before I dropped that bomb. Um, we got two bombs in return, so this is actually makes two of clubs even better. I will go ahead and use it now, because I plan on trying to find the second secret room. Let's see, I'm thinking it's going to be, well it's not in this room, and it's probably not in this room. Um, honestly I don't know where it could be at this point. I guess it could be like down here? No. The only other place I can think of is in this room over here. Let's check it. I think it's pretty likely to be against this wall. Right here. 
Yep. All right, more pills. Let's see what they do. We got a full health pill. I think that's what that is too. Yes. Okay. Forty-hour energy. That's useless for where I'm at. And range down. Not too happy about that one. Let's just go to the next floor. I could play the arcade a little. You know what? We ought to. We ought to play that blood bank a little bit more. It could pay out with a blood bag. Blood bag would be very useful for us. And yeah, that's what I would. That's what I'm hoping for here. Give me a blood bag. Um, I use full health. Three more plays. Okay, let's blow up this. No hearts. Okay, blow up him. Well, we're doing good on money at least. Um, yeah, we're done. We'll blow up the blood bank. Didn't get the blood bag out of it, but that's okay. Was there anything else in the shop that we wanted? I'll buy the key, I think. There was a key for sure. Only got one key, so... Let's get that. Do I want the spirit heart? Sure. Why not? I don't know what that pill is. Um, I might have already found out what it was, but I don't remember. I can't ever keep track of the colors in my head. The colors, man, the colors. And we're at full health, going down to the next floor. This run's going good so far. Probably don't need to tell you that, but it is. Um, you know what? Let's hurt myself. I thought that that did damage to everything in the room, but it may actually just up my damage. I want to check here. I'm hoping a secret room here. No, okay. Well, I don't think it was very likely to be there, actually. But I would just, I would love it to be there. That way I could get into the curse room for free. Let's just check. Oh, it is here. Good. Get into my curse room for free. I didn't have to lose a spirit heart for that, which makes me pretty happy. I'm just going to take out this fire because it's annoying to me. What do we got? Mm, spiders. Glad I didn't pay for it. Well, paid a bomb for it. That's okay because I got eight left. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we may use the razor blade again here in a second. What do we got in this room? Uh, yeah, I'll do this. Let's use the razor blade once. We we'll use the razor blade again, actually. I think that's three times I've hurt myself. I don't know how much this is gonna stack with the razor blade, but my damage is pretty good. I'm happy. I don't think that it affects my chances of deal with the devil. I'm hoping it doesn't. Most of the time when you do damage to yourself, unless you're like blowing yourself up with a bomb or something, it doesn't hurt your chances. Yeah, my damage is nice. Okay, stop shooting. I guess that's the difference between Sister Maggie and Brother Bobby, is that Sister Maggie seems to shoot even when you're not holding, not actually shooting. She does it on her own as long as something is in a straight line with her. So what did we get out of that? Some coins, um, a heart, and a key, I think. I'm pretty happy with it. There's our item room. Another heart is always good. What is that? Peeper? Peeper's just gonna go around the room and hit stuff. He's really big right now, thanks to BFF. Uh, no tinted rocks there. Um, I'm not gonna worry about the rest of these fires. I don't think it's gonna make much of a difference. We've already found our our first secret room, our second secret room. I don't think I've seen a spot where it's likely to be yet. Um, yeah, let's play that. I'll check our item, our shop first. We got Hive Mind. Hive Mind, I believe, does synergize with BFF, so that if I get something that makes spiders or flies, they'll be like really large. Let's play this some. Hoping for an HP upgrade, and I got it. Pretty happy about that one. Oh, uh, sure, we'll fight our boss. Got Peep. I'm gonna hurt myself a little bit. And our tears are humongous and doing a ton of damage. I'm going to hide behind this rock a little bit. <laughs> Unfortunately, we got our own peep mixed in with the, his peep. The, 
they look a little bit different, but it may be may get kind of confusing. Yeah, eh, no. Okay. I, I don't like Peep. <laughs> I think he's one of the harder bosses. He's not as hard as the Bloat or like some of the other ones, but he's harder than he should be. All right, we got a tears upgrade or shot speed upgrade. I'm sorry, that's not tears. Um, didn't get a deal with the devil. It's unfortunate. Did get a fortune teller machine. We probably will play that some. What was in here again? Hive mine? Yeah, we'll take hive mine. Alright. Uh, may grab that spirit heart too. I like buying spirit hearts at the shop. It's just like extra padding. What's in here? I love my damage right now. It's going to reset when I go to the next floor, which is unfortunate, but I can get it back with the razor blade, fortunately. What do we got in here? Yeah, let's get it. Alright. Um, there's a tinted rock down there. Let's blow that up. Probably get another spirit heart out of it. Two more spirit hearts out of it. Alright, so we're almost at the HP max already. Thanks to all these spirit hearts I'm finding. Um, wish I could use my razor blade. I need some hearts. Hopefully we will pick some up pretty soon. I found myself dodging my own peep unnecessarily. Um, I'm going to use pheromones here. We'll let them blow each other up. There we go. Pheromones would probably been better here. Uh, I thought I could sneak between them. There is a tension rock there. Could see if I could get them to blow it up, but... Oh, he did. Really? Come on. Stop getting hit. At least with Samson, I'm getting a little bit of extra damage every time I get hit. There's a tinted rock there, too, but I won't be able to get whatever it drops. Sorry, I need a drink real quick. <coughs> Back of my throat got a little dry there. Alright, we got a uh, rainbow poop there. That's nice. I'm gonna go ahead and pop it. God, what is wrong with my voice? <coughs> okay. <coughs> this is just the first video of the day, and I'm already losing my voice. It's not a good sign. This room should be a no damage room. There's no reason why I should take damage here. <laughs> I saw a peeper coming at me and I thought I was going to have to dodge it. I was like, where the hell did that thing come from? I need to get used to it. Alright, so we got mushrooms here, but our pills so far I don't think have been great. So I'm not going to worry about blowing them up at the moment. I may later. Are they worth a bomb? Maybe. We'll combine them with checking for secret rooms here, though. I think that one on the bottom is just pheromones. That one's full health. That's pretty nice. Found our second secret room. Got two more soul hearts. I will take it. Um, this one's just pheromones, right? Yes. I remembered that. Good for me. Pat on the back. Alright. Let's go to the other big room up there. Haven't found anything on this floor yet as far as item rooms and shops go. There's an arcade. That'll give me a little bit more damage boost, plus some money. Ooh, almost got hit by that one. I really, I'm, I'm thinking about using the razor blade here, but then that negates the blood bank a little bit. I won't be able to get as much money out of it. So let's just uh, deal with the damage that we got. It's not bad. I'm just uh, a little greedy, I guess. Let's go through here. Blood bank. Thank you. I will play it down to a half heart. Or I'll just get a blood bag. Okay, that's fine too. 
I won't mess with those just yet. I may go back and blow them up. Or blow up the arcade anyways. I'm not going to blow up the donation machine, of course. Let's use the razor blade in that room once. I uh, don't need to pick that up right now. Let's use the razor blade in here once. Look how big that makes my tears when I do that. I'm thinking the razor blade only activates like once per room. Could be wrong. Or like, it only gives me a damage upgrade once per room. We'll get through here. Got Infestation 2. That's going to pair good with our Hive Mind and BFF. So, yeah. This run's looking pretty fun. Got Greed. Oh, let me use Razor Blade once. Hopefully I'll pick up some more hearts so I can use it again. I didn't want to take damage there. Now it's worth it to pick up that soul heart back there. We'll go back for it. Look how huge our spiders are. It's nice. I'm going to save one heart so I can use Razor Blade on the boss fight. We don't need any of that. I don't think two coins is worth a bomb. I got myself trapped in this corner here. That's pretty much my fault. Alright, we found our second secret room, right? We didn't find our first secret room. That's okay. We'll go back for it. Got the Fallen. I like fighting the Fallen. Yeah, our tears are really good. Dark Bum is pretty much amazing here. I'm not going to let him have that one, though. Krampus, uh, I would take Krampus's head over the Razor Blade right now. I don't, well, actually, I don't know. Razor Blade's da guaranteed damage upgrade over and over and again. As long as you can use, as long as you can get red hearts. Krampus's head is really good. But I've had it a lot. Let's do, let's just stick with the Razor Blade. I don't think Razor Blade is like an amazing item or anything, but with Samson, it's a pretty great synergy. Alright, the first secret room could be there. That's where I'm suspecting it's going to be. That's where I'm almost positive it's going to be. Let's check. It is. Okay. Well, we're pretty much set at this point. I will go back and blow up our arcade machine. I'm kind of hoping to get a heart or two out of it so that I can get damage upgrades on the next level immediately. I did. Okay. Uh, Dark Mom's usually like an amazing pickup. Here, I don't know. It doesn't work very well with our what we're doing with Samson at the moment because I want to be able to get red hearts and then do damage to myself. So I'm going to have to, like, steal them from the Dark Bum. Moving a little slower than I would like, also. Still, I can't complain about Dark Bum. He's, he's like, the best item in the game, probably. Or damn close to it. Um, a key and a bomb to get into that. You know, I will probably end up doing it, but not immediately. We're going to use a razor blade there, do a little damage. I feel like I'm shooting a lot faster than I was before. My spiders are going to tear stuff up, too. We got an extra key. It's probably worth doing that, that chest now. I wanted to make sure I had two keys so that I could get into both my item room and my shop. Um, we're playing on normal, so it's, like, it's likely we're going to get keys no matter what, but you never know. Got coins for it. Wasn't great. Alright, uh, I'll use this. I'll use, well, Peep kind of tore him up there, I think, or my spiders did. I didn't do a whole lot of damage at all to him. Almost dodged into that bullet there. That wouldn't have made me very happy. I'm going to try not to take soul heart damage, although at this point, it's, uh, doesn't make that much of a difference. Okay, got another key. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to call this a one run already. I think we're at least guaranteed to get through Mom's heart. Satan, probably. Yeah. I mean, as long as I don't just like screw up completely or we don't get something that messes up our run. I don't think anything at this point would mess up our run. I'm not going to pick up anything like uh, anti-gravity tears or 
cursed eye. I know that. I'm getting lots of keys. I'm not complaining. I would like some red hearts though. So that I can get my damage up to max. Um, we'll do this. We're going to put it right here. That way we may be able to get a secret room out of it. Nope. Alright then. More keys. Not really what I want. More of the Masks of Infamies. That was fairly easy there. I don't think I've taken damage on this floor, have I? It's up to the damage I'm dealing to myself, anyways. Let's check our shop. Got Soul Hearts, Bogo Bombs, Red Heart. I'm going to buy the Bogo Bombs, and I'm going to go ahead and buy the Red Heart, too. I want to be able to use Razor Blade when I fight the boss to do that extra bit of damage. We've got Unicorn Horn. Uh, no, I'm liking the Razor Blade at the moment. I'll pick it up just to make sure it's in my uh, unlocked items list because I'm not, I've never, I haven't used it on the channel at all yet, but I think I did pick it up once. All right, secret room could be here. This is where I'm gonna guess it is. I only got one bomb. Was there bombs for some in the shop? I don't remember. Yes, I'll buy it. Did I just teleport? I didn't even know I was on Curse of the Maze. That was weird. Um, I just teleported again. I guess I am on Curse of the Maze. Let's check the secret room. There's a tinted rock there. God damn it, stop teleporting. And I wasted a key. Sorry, I got much. Could be a secret room here. I'm hoping it is. That way I can get in my curse room for free. It's not, though. Uh, we got so many soul hearts, we might as well do, right? Stop teleporting. So annoying. What's really annoying is when you teleport into the curse room when you're trying to exit the curse room, so you end up taking multiple damage when you leave. Uh, range up? Okay. had that happen to me a few times where I'm trying to leave the curse room and it keeps teleporting me back into the curse room. Can we reach this guy from over here? Yeah, we can reach the fire from across the room. Our range is pretty good. Uh, one bomb and one key for that? Okay. Could be like something like Cricket's Head would be great. Bob's Rotten Head, not so great. I'll keep the razor blade. Let's not step on the spikes. Still haven't taken any damage from enemies on this floor, I don't believe. Um, two chests. I've got three keys. This is Necropolis 1. Uh, let's do it. Got a key back and some bombs. I'm lacking, I like getting the bombs back. I didn't even see that dingle appear right on top of me. That was my fault. Mostly. I don't like these invisible guys at all. Got a lot of bombs back, got one key back. I'm pretty happy with that. Not too happy with the damage I took, but... It's, oh my god, it's gotta stop doing that. Wasn't there a tinted rock somewhere that I saw? Yeah, right here. Let's blow that up. Get some more HP up. Haven't had any red hearts, that's unfortunate. I do have the full health pill down there, but I don't think it's necessary right now. Uh, we haven't found any secret rooms, have we? We got bombs. Let's check. Um, let's check here first. This is where I highly suspect it's going to be. It is. Got more coins. I don't think there was anything left in our shop that we care about. Um, as far as second secret room, I have no idea. No idea where it might be. It's not up there. Let's try over here. Could be here. Not here. All right. Well, let's not worry about it. The bloat. I hate the bloat. He can suck off a donkey or some other wild beast. Okay. But our tears are great right now. I'm gonna take that dark bum, sorry. Pageant boy, pretty pretty crappy pickup there. Alright, give me a good deal with the devil. Got um 
bloody baby or headless baby. Um, I don't think he's that good. I know that Northern Line seems to like him a lot for some reason, but it's not my favorite. I'm gonna take it anyways. The reason I'm gonna take it is because I got Dark Bomb, and he's gonna keep me in Spirit Hearts. I'm not even gonna try to find the second secret room. It's just it's crapshoot at this point. I did forget to do the seed on this one, didn't I? C6 X W Z D 2N So hey, let's talk about some more video game stuff. I kind of lost track of what I was doing. Um, don't know what's going to happen with Isaac Rebirth expansion packs. I'm really excited about seeing them later though. I'm just going to blow this up right off the bat. I just don't care anything about playing that arcade machine. Thank you. Um, so hey, let's look, talk about some of the other games that have come out recently. Uh, my sister's huge Pokemon fan. And the new Pokemon Omega Ruby and... What was the other one? Something Sapphire? I don't even know. Uh, came out. And she's digging it. Wonder what, what do you guys think about the new Pokemon game? Um, I play, I've played like every generation, I think. But I haven't like completed every generation. I don't know what hit me there. Stray Bullet? I guess so. Um... I kind of lost interest a little bit. Not that I think there's anything wrong with Pokemon. Not that I think there's anything wrong with like some some people are like Pokemon hipsters or something, where they're wanting to say that the original 150 are the only ones that matter. That everything after them is stupid. And um, you know I I wouldn't consider myself in that boat. I do think the original 150 were were pretty amazing but that's because they were like they were my Pokemon they were what I grew up with I brought I bought Pokemon Red and Blue when it first came out like before it became huge now I sound like a hipster don't I um, but it's true like I was into the card game before like kids were kill were stabbing each other on the bus for Charizards and stuff um, but I've kind of lost interest in them now just because every single <clears throat> Sorry. Every single generation seems to be very much the same game. Which I know that's why some people like them. Because they're, uh, they're comfortable, I guess, with Pokemon. And, you know, I, I do like it and I understand it. And I think that Pokemon is a pretty good RPG. Um, like, Japanese style RPG for people to get into. But it's a little bit repetitive for my taste. And I'll play for a little while, see some of the new Pokemon, and I'm like, hey, that's cool. And then I lose interest, and I don't ever finish. And that tends to happen pretty often. I think the last one I finished was Pokemon Pearl. I think it was Diamond and Pearl that came out together. I don't remember. But I, I did finish one of those in that series. Uh, portable slot machine is not very good for us. Is this Necropolis 2? Or Depths 2? Yeah. Let's donate this stuff. Um, two. Thanks for letting me donate two coins there. Okay, I'm going to buy these two things then. Buying the heart so we can hurt ourselves with it. And then the key just because I've only got three keys. So it could help at some point. Maybe we'll get Guppy's Collar and need a bunch of keys. Okay. Free deal with the devil. I like that. So we got Missing Page 2, and then we got Spirit of the Knights. Okay, the problem with taking Spirit of the Knights is that I won't be able to hurt myself anymore. It will let me fly, which is nice. But I need to be able to hurt myself, I think. I don't like uh, Missing Page 2 at all. No, I don't think I can take either one of those. Thanks, though, for the free devil room. Okay. Uh, so, anyways, Pokemon. I haven't played the new one at all. I don't really plan on playing it. Um, I may borrow it from my sister at some point. That's what I did with... Um, what was the last one? X? Yeah, I borrowed Pokemon X from her. And it was fun. I liked it. And then I got to the point where you get the 
um, super evolutions or whatever you call them. And I, I got Blastoise because he's my favorite. And I got the super evolution and it was pretty awesome. But then like shortly after that I lost interest and stopped playing for no reason really. It's not a, there's nothing wrong with the game for sure. It was just, you know, there's other games that come out and then I lose interest in them. What do we got in here? The blood bank and donation machine. Okay. So I'm looking for where the second secret room could be. I don't know. I'm going to look back down towards the bottom here because it's not there. I am going to go in our curse room. I was just looking around the curse room to see if the donation machine, I mean, the, the uh, secret room could be next to it, but it's not. Okay, Guppy's Paw. So, uh, I'm going to pick it up, but I'm not going to take it with me and I'm not going to use it. I want to have some red hearts. So I can hurt myself. Like a Johnny Cash song. <laughs> Actually, it's not a Johnny Cash song. It is a uh, Nine Inch Nails song. But I think Johnny Cash, like, did an amazing job on his cover of that song. Let's check here. I think it has a pretty good chance of being here. It is. Alright. Well, we got both of our secret rooms. Did we fight the boss yet? No, we haven't. Let's go fight the boss. I can hurt myself twice. For the boss fight? Oh, it's mom. I forgot we were on uh, Depths 2 here. Let's hurt myself one more time. I don't. Uh, did I get hit there? I don't even know. I wasn't paying very close attention to the foot. Yeah, our tears are pretty damn good. I don't know what hit me that time. Um, thank you. We'll grab the negative and we'll go down into the womb. The womb, the womb, the womb is on fire. I don't know why that suddenly came into my head. Is that even a thing? I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's worth a bomb and a key to get to that. Let's see, can I get to it with a bomb and a key? I should have gone this way. That was bad. There we go. I almost blew myself up there too. Goat head, okay. Guaranteed deal with the devil on this floor at least. Guaranteed we're going to get to go to Shoal. I think that's guaranteed anyways at this point. I'm going to take that. Sorry, Dark Bomb. Um, I'll use it on the next room. Use the Razor Blade. Oh, we got lumps. What hit me? Oh, I hit myself with the Razor Blade. Duh. Stupid. I'm not going to take the full. I want to keep the full health with me. Mm, sorry, Dark Bomb. I need it. He can only give me one more spirit heart anyways, so I'm not too worried here. Especially since our run is going pretty dang good. Our spiders are like crazy powerful too. Alright, almost took a hit there. I'll take that. Sorry, Dark Bone. Really? Did that hit everything in the room? I didn't think it was doing damage to everything in the room. But okay, I'll take it. I guess that the razor blade does do damage to everything in the room and gives you a damage bonus because I, I know it's making my tears bigger when I use it. But that could just be the bloody lust. I don't know. I don't know why I went into the creep there. Not the best decision I've ever made. Got luck down. Okay. Our tears are large. Got a dime. Really just trying to head to the boss here. I could check for secret rooms, and I'll check a couple places, you know. Pretty sure I was pretty sure our second secret room was there. This is amazing. I'll just say that for sure. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hurt myself a couple times here. Um, going to grab that. Okay, see, dart bomb, you have to drop them outside of the red heart room like that. Are they already finished? Okay. Well, I kind of screwed up there because I let Dark Bomb eat them and then drop them again. So I actually lost out on a couple spirit hearts there. Uh, that's okay, though. Got Skolex. See, it didn't seem to do any damage to the guys there when I used uh, the Razor Blade. It is making my tears fantastic. I got hit by Skolex. Not happy about that one. I'm going to have to start letting Dark Bomb eat a little bit more hearts because I'm going to need the padding. 
We are gonna get a deal with the devil here. Come on. Damage is nice. I'm not sure why that hit me. I thought he was gonna jump over my head there a little bit. We got a halo. I love the halo. It's like the magic mushroom without the uh, what I consider a drawback of making you bigger. Got wealth from below and brother Bobby. Yeah, okay, that's really helpful. Thank you. I'll take wealth from below or contract from below. Sorry, wealth at what cost? Um, the reason I'm taking that is because I'm hoping it'll give me more uh, red hearts. Should we check the rest of this floor? Nah. Um, yeah, we'll let DARPA meet that one. Thank you. Got Peep here. Um, see, I'm pretty sure that that didn't do any damage to him when I used that. So, I think it just makes your tears bigger for one room. I'll go into the double key room here. Especially since we got contract from below, it should have dropped more than that, I thought. But bombs are key, alright. Full health, I'll be happy about that. That was the same one I brought in there with me, isn't it? We'll do it. Not too scared right now. I'm gonna use the razor blade, give myself some extra damage on this room. And for the rest of the level, since we have the rage. Yeah, we're doing nice damage here. I like it. Um not too happy about him teleporting on top of me like that. Loki usually doesn't do that. What was uh what was the item I turned down earlier because it wasn't gonna work well? Oh Krampus' head. I think I'm pretty happy about that decision. Uh, Razor Blade I think has helped out quite a bit here. Razor Blade plus Samson is a pretty great synergy. You have to be a little emo with Samson. You have to do you have to deal damage to yourself. Samson you, you may think Eve is an emo character, but Samson I think is the emo character in this game. Yep, we'll take all those. I'm really liking Infestation 2 on this run, too. It's, I mean, it, I always like Infestation 2. It's a good item. But with my damage upgrades, and, or my... Uh, I'm going to keep running on creep because I can't see it. That was a horrible room. Oh, my God. Let's wait for the creep to disappear. Yeah, that was a really bad room for me. We do have full health. I'm considering using it just to get the damage upgrades out of it from Rage. Um, but I think we're okay on damage, and if we're lucky, we may get like a, uh, a few health upgrades at some points. Well, that was fast. I guess my spiders did that, or maybe the peeper. Got envy here. Envy should not take too long. Is it worth going into the curse room? Probably not, unless we can get into it from free, which. I'm thinking we may be able to. It looks like the room above the curse room is going to be a secret room. It has a pretty good chance of being one anyways. I don't know if you heard that, my dog is banging on the door. Shoop to whoop. That's uh, a garbage item. I'll be right back. I'll let my dog in. So, um, what are we doing? <laughs> uh, we're gonna check the secret room right here. I think it's got a pretty good chance of being right there. Let's check. It is. Thank you. Uh, got greed fight. Doesn't really do anything for me. Give me some money, but there's no tinted rocks in here. Alright. Glad I didn't pay to go in this room, because it's a garbage room. Got two keys out of it. Don't really need keys that much anymore. But I will take them nonetheless. Let's take out the double sloth here. Shouldn't be that much of an issue. I have a hard time seeing tinted rocks when they're... Um, I do see one down there, actually. I just gotta look, I guess. There's one there. Could've used Bob's Rotten Head to get that for me, but... Didn't think about it. It's alright. We are at max money. Which naturally means that's all it's gonna give me. Alright, um, I'm going to take that so that I can use my rage. 
on the boss. Whoa, 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 Diglets, calm down here. Now these sometimes drop uh, hearts and stuff. I don't know if my bombs are going to be big enough to hit both of them. Let's check. Nope, we just don't hit either one of them. Try the secret room there and blow that up. Got a heart out of it. You can have that one, Dark Bone. Um, we'll try there too. Yeah, get it. Thank you. All right. Um, yeah, you can have that one. Okay. Take out the nubbin there. All right. Uh, we'll check here for our second secret room. It is. This is really good for us. I'm gonna let Darkbone pip all these up, and then I'm gonna go outside of the room so he drops all spirit hearts. Drop them. I know you got more. Yes. Thank you, Darkbone. We are at max health. It lives. I'm gonna use my Razor Blade, and we should be at pretty much max damage we're gonna get for Rage. Um, I didn't mean to take a hit there. So we're doing quite a bit of damage. Yeah. I like it. This is why Samson's just awesome. He's got so many synergies. I didn't even think about Razor Blade before, but Razor Blade's a pretty amazing synergy for Samson. Like it. Love it. Alright, so what's some other games? Uh, there's I've been seeing some stuff for the Game of Thrones Telltale game. Um, I haven't played the Borderlands Telltale game yet either, which I've heard is pretty good. And I should get around to playing it, because I, I haven't found any Telltale games right now that I just dislike. Uh, I love the Walking Dead game, I loved Wolf Among Us. Both of the seasons of Walking Dead were pretty good, the first one's better by far, but the second one it was not bad at all. And anyways, so I've been seeing stuff about the Game of Thrones game, and at first I was like, eh, because I'm a little disappointed that they decided to make it based on the movie, or the show instead of the books, because it's like, yeah, the show is really good, but um, I thought they would do their own take on it, and I don't really like it that they made the characters look like the actors in the show. I would have liked to see them make the characters look like their own interpretations like they did with The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead game is more based off of the comic book than the TV show. Well, it's not based off the TV show like at all. Um, and I like that. Uh, sorry, I need those. So I want to do a little bit more damage when I get to the later on levels. You can have those though, Dark Bum. Go ahead. Actually, I probably should have taken those too. I should have done damage to myself. Alright, we're going to do a little bit of damage to myself here. Well, now I know there's spirit hearts back there. So I'm not too worried about any of this. Well, I didn't mean to take damage there. though. There's no reason to take stupid damage just because there's spirit hearts laying on the floor, Clive. Come on. Ah, oh, come on now. It's just bad dodging. Alright. Yeah, I'll take that one. I'll take the other one. Alright. So anyways, yeah, Game of Thrones. But I've... I saw something on Kotaku today, I think, that said that the game was actually pretty good. Um, I don't know that it's even come out yet, but I think it's January? I don't remember for sure. I'll definitely be checking it out when it comes out. If I can get the, the money together to buy it. I'm, I'm like, I'm the definition of a starving artist. <laughs> I, I do the, the Twitch stuff and YouTube trying to turn that into like a little bit of money on the side you know uh, my main job is writing and I'm attempting to sell some stuff some some stories of mine but uh, haven't really started making money on that yet so yeah I don't I don't I don't make much money <laughs> um, so I don't get a lot of money to spend on video games which is why I live on like Humble Bundle and uh, Indie Gala and you know those those places where you can get cheap 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 games.
Alright, we'll check the curse room for free here. Guppy's head, I will take. It's almost worth continuing with it and taking it with me instead of Razor Blade. But Razor Blade has served me well, and I will take Razor Blade instead. Uh, the flies are going to be like really good though because of BFF and Hive Mind and my insane damage at the moment. So, I mean, I, it's worth considering taking Guppy's head with me, but nah. Uh, one more guppy item though, and we'll be guppy. So that's nice. I got myself stuck in there. These guys are a little harder than the ones with the brains on the back. They move a little faster. I'm not liking all the damage I've been taking on this floor. But we're about to fight Satan, and I think we'll be okay against Satan. I wouldn't say this run's overpowered at the moment. It's, uh... Above average, we'll say that. But it's not a guaranteed lamb victory by any means, because the dark room can get pretty hard. I'm not sure where our second secret room is going to be. It's not going to be there. Let's try the top up here. I think it's pretty likely to be there. Either all the way up, or one of these sides. No. Maybe not. It is. Good. Um, we're going to play the crap out of this thing. Hoping to get a uh, few spirit hearts out of it. Or some really good pills would be good too. Bloody heart, or the child's heart's not bad. There's uh, one spirit heart. I need four. Got a crystal ball. That could give me a spirit heart too. It does. Alright. So I'm going to take the razor blade with me. Um, I didn't pick up the child's heart, did I? I do want to pick that up. Because it can make more red hearts drop and um, red hearts are very good for us right now so not only can we use them to improve our rage but I'm gonna put a bomb there I'm gonna hurt myself and then do a whole ton of damage to these guys hopefully yeah we're doing quite a bit just stay over here dodge his bullets Getting a little close for my taste. Brimstone attack's not hard to dodge. Dodge his bullets. Alright, now we got the hooves. And the bomb flies, which are, in my opinion, much more dangerous than the hooves. Because the hooves are predictable. Bomb flies, not so much. I nearly got hit by the hooves there, though, by the way. They do have a pretty big area of effect. Uh, bomb flies, come on now. Uh, the spiders are helping out quite a bit. I couldn't... I don't know what I did there. Really? Come on now. Alright, hooves die. Alright, I got it. took one hit there. I'm not too hurt about that. We're gonna go down into the dark room. Got blood rites. Maybe that's the one that does damage to everything in the room. I think it is. Blood rites appeared in the basement. Mm, give me a guppy item. Come on, I want to be guppy. Not gonna do it, huh? Alright, well which way do we want to go? Let's just pick a direction. We got double death here. Um, and I didn't realize that I have Curse the Unknown. That's not good. I know I had two red hearts. I'm gonna use the Razor Blade once. Yeah, I really don't like Curse the Unknown when I'm trying to rock the Razor Blade here. Yeesh. I'm going to go ahead and use my full health pill, and then I'm going to use the razor blade again. I'm going to try to increase my damage a little bit, and I'm, all the red hearts are going to go to the dark bone. So I think that's probably a better way to play this. I think I should be at uh, one red or two red hearts right now. Not positive though, so I'm not going to use another razor blade until I can know for sure that I'm going to be okay. I have no idea how many spirit hearts I have at this point. There was the eternal heart back there, but I'm not going to get it yet. I am going to use Razor Blade one more time. Ooh, that was lucky. That was just plain lucky there. So was that. 
Um, I'll take luck. I don't mind being lucky. Would you rather be lucky or skilled? I'd rather be skilled, but, you know, can't be skilled, be lucky. You don't want to be unskilled and unlucky, right? Um, yeah, get those dark bone. Give me some spirit hearts. Uh, I think our... I think our rage is just about maxed out. I'm gonna grab one more heart if one appears again and use it in the lamb fight so that I can increase our damage through the razor blade. Ugh, I knew I was gonna take a hit there with all those freaking flies. Damn it. Yeah, this is not going good. We may lose on the dark room. Shit. So much damage I'm taking here. Yeah, keys are helpful. Thank you. We sh are we don't have any bombs. When did this happen? Uh, yeah, I picked the wrong direction. Ah, oh, come on. You could at least drop me in like a chest or something. Give me a chest. Give me a chest. Give me a chest. Give me a chest. Drop a chest, you stupid horse. No. Okay. I hate not knowing how much health I'm at. Fuck. Okay, well there's a black heart. I don't remember when, where our black heart was at. I'm just like stuck. And we're dead. Yeah, that was bad. Um... I think Curse of the Unknown played a big part of that, and then another part was just that I was just bad at dodging all that stuff. We got the Satan kill. That was what we were going for. Lamb kill was just bonus. Um, we will have to go back and get that lamb kill at some point. But now we have got a Satan kill with every character. So I'm going to start going for Isaac kills at this point. Uh, the only one we don't need an Isaac kill with is Samson, I believe. Yes. Alright, so how do we get Isaac kills? Uh, we have to get deals with the angels, I believe. So that's what we're going to try to do. Um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave me a like and subscribe and to see more in the future. Uh, check me out on Twitch. I'm playing at 1 o'clock every day. 1 o'clock Central Standard Time. That's where I live. Central USA. So, um, yeah, check me out on Twitch. I, I do talk to my viewers while I play, so we're going to try to make this a little more interactive, you know. Uh, anyways, leave me some comments. Let me know. This is uh, this was the game chat. I didn't talk about games a whole lot, but we talked about it a little bit. If you had any comments you want to say about like the uh, Isaac, like Isaac expansion, the Pokemon game, or the Game of Thrones game, uh, just leave me a comment down there. Let's talk about some of that stuff. Uh, thanks for watching again, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.